It was by any standards a major military operation. Units from General Pinochet's Army, Air Force and Carabineros joined forces to seal off two square miles of this poorest of shanty towns. And until late in the morning, there was no way of knowing exactly what was going on inside the camp. But suddenly at noon, the troops began to withdraw, their mission apparently over. As the soldiers pulled out, there were some reports, impossible to verify, that as many as 2,000 men had been herded away in trucks to no one knew where. Some, like this man, were eventually released. Others are still being held. Troops used rifle butts to break into dozens of these flimsy homes. Ominous stickers were placed on selective shacks. But what hurt the people here most of all was the damage done to their makeshift hospital. Medical records scattered in the mud as soldiers searched for what they called subversive material. Drugs spilled on the floor. And a huge hole dug in a search for guns. The Archbishop of Santiago came to inspect the damage. The church here makes no secret of its dislike for General Pinochet. Many in this camp are opposed to General Pinochet. Many have marched in demonstrations against him. But an open show of force like this and the imposition of the curfew last week make it obvious to all here that opposition will not be tolerated.